Today I'm going to show you how you can do a Google search to look for the manufacturer of a pan that might not have the manufacturer's name on it. So I have a vintage cast iron skillet in front of me. It is marked on the bottom with the number 5. It's also marked with the numbers 1030. And it is a skillet, a frying pan. It happens to have a heat ring on it. And it's made out of cast iron. So if I start, I'm going to say vintage because I don't want to be looking at new cast iron skillets. I'll say vintage cast iron skillet. Now bear in mind some people might actually call a vintage cast iron skillet a vintage cast iron pan. But let's see that I've got 3,500,000 results. I don't want to wade through 3,500,000 results. You can see here's a bunch of, bunch of pictures of different pans and I want to narrow my search down so I don't have to look at quite that many. So I'll say vintage cast iron skillet 5 because this is a size 5 pan. Now I'm seeing a whole bunch of pans and I'll take a quick look. I do not see my pan here although there are a number of different pans I'm going to narrow it down even further, and I think this will actually be the giveaway, because I'm going to put the pattern number on the bottom of the skillet. I'm going to type that into the search query here. And there it is. This is the pan that I have in front of me. That's not a very good photograph. This is a better one. This is what my pan looks like. It is a number five, pattern number 1030. It has this distinctive handle and it has this heat ring. Here it's saying it's a Griswold Iron Mountain number no. 5 cast iron skillet. Now I happen to know that that's correct. That is what this pan is. But sometimes people guess at things and they don't necessarily know for sure what it is. So I'll keep looking a little bit. Here's Worth Point. Here they're not saying what it is. Here we go. Here's eBay. They're just calling it a vintage cast iron cooking utensil. Same thing with Worth Point. They're just calling it a cast iron skillet. Here they're calling it a Griswold Iron Mountain number no. 5. Again, I know that is the case. So I'll do a little bit of research. Here it is again, Griswold number no. 5 cast iron skillet and that will help me to get the identification of the pan. Now let's say that I have a vintage cast iron skillet and it has the heat ring on the bottom which is this raised area here. So I'm going to say vintage cast iron skillet with a heat ring, that's two words, and let's say that that is also a number five. Now this time it didn't have any um, manufacturer's name on the bottom of it. But it did have these divots, which are actually called notches, on the bottom of the pan. So we, it's a three-notch heat ring skillet. Here's another one, same thing, it's a lodge. So by looking at the different pictures, I can find one that matches my skillet and then look to see what the identification is. But again, don't automatically trust what you read because sometimes people guess and they don't really know for sure what something is. Here's one of my pans from Griswold Cookware, or now called Vintage Cast Iron LLC. You can see this one has Victor Cast Iron Skillet, then it says the Griswold Manufacturing Company, so we would know that this one was made by Griswold. Here's another three notch and it's marked with Martin and so you might think that this pan was actually manufactured by Martin but you might be surprised to realize that this one was actually made by Lodge so it was made by Lodge for Martin and the reason we know that is because it has the three notch heat ring which is a sign of, large, of Lodge pans. So hopefully this little exercise will help you to learn how to do a Google Images search and that will help you to identify the maker of some of your vintage cast iron pans. Happy hunting!